Hello friends, welcome to Engineering Panda family. In this video, I will solve one very interesting problem based on transfer function of electrical network. So you can observe here, we have one electrical network and for this network, we need to identify transfer function that is V2 divided by E. V2 that is measured from here and E of T that is input over here. If you observe this circuit, then here we have two nodes. At this node, we have V1 of T voltage. To get transfer function, first of all, we need to convert all the elements in Laplace domain. So let us consider this E of T, that is E only. See this V2 of T, let us say that is V2 only. At this node, let us say we have V1 voltage only. See this R1 that is having impedance R1 only. This R2 that is having impedance R2 only. And impedance of capacitance C1 that is 1 divided by SC1. And impedance of capacitance C2 that is 1 divided by SC2. Now by considering this impedance, we can identify transfer function, right? Now here to identify transfer function, we will be applying KCL. To apply KCL, first of all, you need to consider the direction of current. See, you can consider direction randomly. Let us say in this wing, current is there in this direction. Let us say that is I1. In this wing, let us say current that is there in this direction. Let us say that is I2. In this wing, let us say current is there in this direction, that is I3. And in this wing, let us say current is there in this direction, that is I4. Right. Now, what I'll do is I'll apply KCL at node V1. See, at node V1, entering current is equals to leaving current. I1, I2, and I3 all are entering. So one can say I1 plus I2 plus I3 that is equals to 0. Now you need to be careful when you substitute I1, I2, I3. See I1 is head minus tail. So V1 minus E divided by R1. So V1 minus E divided by R1 that is I1. See I2 that is head minus tail. So V1 minus 0 divided by impedance of C1 that is 1 divided by SC1 and see this I3 that is head minus tail so V1 minus V2 divided by impedance that is R2 right and that is equals to 0. Now see here what we will do is we will identify V1 right and then we will apply KCL at this node in which we will substitute V1 so that we can have a ratio of V2 divided by E, right? So let us identify this equation in form of V1. So here, what I'll do is I'll take V1 term on one side. So V1 into 1 by R1. Over here, we have 1 by R2. And over here, we have 1 divided by 1 by SC1, that is SC1. And we will take other terms on other side. So on other side, E divided by R1, that is getting positive. And this minus V2 by R2, that will be plus V2 by R2 over this side. Now take R1 and R2 as LCM. So R1 and R2, that is getting cancelled from both of the sides. And here with V1, we will be having R1 plus R2 plus SC1 R1 R2 and on this side E into R2 plus V2 into R1. So now we have V1 that is E R2 plus V2 R1 divided by R1 plus R2 plus SC1 R1 R2. Right. Let us say this is equation 1. Now what we will do is we will apply KCL at node V2. 
at node V2, entering current is equals to leaving current. Here both currents are leaving current, right? So one can say I3 plus I4 that is equals to 0. See I3 is head minus tail means V1 minus V2 divided by impedance over here that is R2 and here I4 that is head minus tail means 0 minus V2 means minus V2 divided by impedance that is 1 divided by SC2 that is equals to 0. Now see here we will take V1 and V2 term separately. So V1 by R2 that is there with us on this side that is equals to now V2 is common on other side 1 by R2 and on other side this is also plus 1 divided by 1 by SC2 that is plus SC2 right. Now here let us simplify this by taking R2 as LCM. So V1 that is equals to V2 into 1 plus S C2 R2 right. Now here see what we can do is we can consider this as equation 2 and we can substitute this equation 1 into 2. After that we will be having V2 and E in equation form and that we can resolve in form of V2 by E right. So let us put equation 1 into 2. So V1 that is this. Now here on this side we have V2 into 1 plus S C2 R2 right. If I take this term on other side then here I need to have 1 divided by 1 plus S C2 R2 and that is equals to V2 over here right. Now we will be simplifying this equation. So here if you observe here we have E into R2 term and here we have V2 into R1 term right. So what I can do is I can take this V2 term on other side right. So on this side we will be having E R2 divided by this term that is 1 plus S C2 R2 into this term that is R1 plus R2 plus S C1 R1 R2. And on other side, see this V2 divided by this that is there with us. So V2 into, now you see we need to have V2 minus this, right. Means 1 minus R1 divided by this, right. Now simply take LCM over here so that this 1 plus SC2 R2. R1 plus R2 into S C1 R1 R2 that is getting cancelled from both of the sides right. So here on this side we will be having E into R2 that is equals to here we will be having V2 into 1 plus S C2 R2 into R1 plus R2 plus S C1 R1 R2 minus R1 right. Now we need to have V2 by E. So V2 divided by E that will be this R2 divided by this. So this is how we can identify transfer function. Here you need to be clear about how to follow the steps. Right. See otherwise simple mathematics that is required and after practice definitely every time you will get correct answer. But see the process is here first of all you need to convert all the elements into Laplace domain. After that by applying KCL you will be having equations right. So first of all you will have to see like here we need to identify V2 by E. So first identify the equation of V1 and then substitute equation of V1 in this KCL equation and then you will be having a ratio right. Thank you so much for watching this video.